He is a well-known Chicago activist known for his work at crime scenes and helping grieving families. But now Andrew Holmes is out of a job. The nonprofit he worked for says he's been terminated amid a lawsuit and allegations that he assaulted a former co-worker. Holmes also serves as a trustee in the village of Dalton. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop with tonight's story. We in the, the most dangerous areas at the most dangerous time at night. His name, his face, synonymous with the fight against Chicago violence. We are just concerned about the child right about now. On TV screens and in newspapers, Andrew Holmes stood with families during their most difficult times. He met with dignitaries, received countless awards for his work as a crisis responder. But in the wake of allegations against him, now the group he worked for, Chicago Survivors, says Andrew's been terminated. A statement to NBC5 reads, our mission is to provide crime victim services to family members of homicide victims, so our relationship with those families in our community is paramount. Without compromise, there needs to be strong mutual trust and an assumed high level of safety for the adults and children we serve. For those reasons, we terminated his employment in April upon learning of the serious allegations. I'm fighting for every woman. Holmes also serves as an elected trustee in the village of Dalton. He's being sued by Fania Dukes, Mayor Tiffany Hanyard's ex-assistant. Dukes filed this civil lawsuit against Hanyard and Holmes. She accuses him of assaulting her. Dukes issued this statement last week describing the lawsuit's allegations. Until my last memory was me waking up in his room. In this video, she details what she says happened before and after an incident that allegedly occurred almost a year ago during a taxpayer paid economic development trip to Las Vegas. On that trip, Henyard, a handful of village and Thornton Township reps, and trustee Holmes. According to the lawsuit, after dinner and walking the Las Vegas Strip with Holmes, Dukes felt disoriented and ultimately blacked out. Holmes has not responded to our repeated requests for a comment. Mary Avant is a retired Chicago police officer. She says the allegations are serious and Chicago survivors did the right thing. I think it's a little bit of being careful because they have to be concerned about themselves and the look it gives them. And many residents and also some trustees are calling on Andrew Holmes to step down from the village board. Reporting from Dalton, I'm Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News.